It's been a while, hasn't it? I've missed you all so. And as we close in on Lent, I can't think of a more traditional Lent meal than chopped liver, because that's how we celebrate Lent in my house. <laughs> because I'm Jewish, and my wife's not. So there we go. Um, fast and easy, just like nobody in my house ever made it. Um, pound and a half of chicken livers. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's disgusting. That is horrendous. You should hear it. You know, I've lived in this house for a thousand years, and I still don't know where the forks are. So we're going to spread it out, just like they used to do back in the day. We're going to hit it with a little bit of... There it is. We're going to salt them. And we're going to throw them under the broiler for, I don't know, three or four minutes. Just to uh, cook out some of the nastiness in it. The blood taste. That's good. Alright, it's going to go in the broiler. Give me a few minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll get on with it. This whole thing won't take long. It's been about five minutes. Disgusting. That is absolutely repulsive. It really is. It's gross. It? Yeah. I'm so glad you're making it. Alright, so they are going to be cooked. It's supposed to be cooked in schmaltz, chicken fat. Well, I don't have any. Don't tell anybody. It's almost embarrassing. I'm using bacon fat. That is totally, totally totally not kosher. I mean, unless you know a guy. Um, so. Okay, how long are we going to do this? I, well, i got to put it all in first. Oh, God. Oh, it's like surgery. It's not going to pull through. I'm so sorry. So, pound and a half of livers. We've broiled them for about, I don't know, four or five minutes just to get them a little less disgusting, which obviously has paid dividends. Um, then, in the two tablespoons of grease, got a cup of celery, got a cup and a half of chopped onion. Whoa, the eggs don't go in yet. The eggs, not quite uh, done. So, that goes in, and what we're going to do is... Just saute this all for a little while. There's no right, there's no wrong. It just kind of depends on how you like it. Um, that's it. Uh, we're going to do this for a few minutes, and then we will get back to you. And really, we're uh, we're in the home stretch now. There's not much left to do. Fortunately, once you saute it, the horrific smell you're going to get from the chicken livers goes away quickly. So that's where we are right now. We'll see you in a little bit. Are you, sorry, I can't zoom out anymore, so there you go. All right. <laughs> Half dozen <laughs> eggs peeled. For the record, there's all your crazy things they've got online for how to peel an egg properly. They only ever work one time, and then the second time it looks like you peeled them with a shotgun. So Half dozen eggs. I don't feel like chopping them, so they're going into the food processor. Pulse it a few times. And look at that. Glorious. Now, finally, what we do, I've been sauteing, I don't even know how long, several minutes. I'm upstaging myself because I'm a lefty, so that's what that looks like. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks like chopped liver. Are you going to have to do it in batches? No, nope. I don't care. Okay. Okay. That's way losing it. The pan is too heavy. That would have been embarrassing. Silicon pan hands are great, except when the pan weighs about 75,000 pounds. All right, so we've got that. Then we... Get it with salt. 
about that much. Sorry, didn't get that. It's probably about a, ah, maybe another half teaspoon. Crack some fresh black pepper in there. I know it's not all black pepper, whatever. You know, can figure it out. A uh, couple teaspoons of Worcestershire Tire Shire sauce. Probably. There it is. Vicious sauce. Mm -hmm. And then, back we go. Just pulse it until you feel like you've got it where you want it. I'll be damned. That actually looks... Like chicken livers? <laughs> it looks like chicken. Yeah, they're really... You really suck. Okay. Battery's dying, but aren't we all inside? Um, I had time to plate it with genuine matzo. I'm going to try this. There, it looks good. Does not smell good. I'll be damned, it tastes like chopped liver. Um, yeah, it's all right. If you like chopped liver, this is great. If you don't, you can try it. And if you hate it, it's not my fault. Um, but there it is. Fair warning, this is not at all real kosher because I cooked it in bacon fat. And I'm pretty sure I didn't prep the livers right. There's uh, like a lot of washing and, and cleaning involved and I'm too damn lazy for that. But anyway, here it is. Um, just in time for Lent. Chopped liver. Enjoy. Delightful. Good times.